Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty Extravaganza this Saturday, June 8th. And today, the South Dakota State Jackrabbits are taking on Navy in game number 7 of the week. Navy is unranked. South Dakota State is ranked 17th in the country. They've already played a game this year. They took on Army. They got out to a 35-3 lead, I believe. And then after that, uh, a lot of injuries happened. South Dakota State really struggled in the second half. Army eventually took the lead, and then South Dakota State won it in the last seconds with a touchdown pass from Tremaine Watson, who is right here at quarterback, uh, taken off left side, but he had a touchdown pass, the game winner to Brahms North, the number one tight end on the roster, and he gets a nice run there. Lamar Jackson in now, he's going to roll out right side, throws it up, a deep shot, Jack Marks is there, it's picked off. There was two receivers in the area, TJ Maxey, Jack Marks, and instead the strong safety Singleton gets the interception. Two interceptions now on the year for Lamar Jackson. Only one touchdown, 18 yards, 37 rushing yards. He was, of course, injured last week. And Jermaine Watson stepped in and filled in nicely. Here is Jack Marks getting a catch and the first down, his fourth catch of the year. He's over 100 yards as well. Jackson, pump fake. Throws it out right side. Oh my goodness, he misses Collings. And that would have been a touchdown. And it would have been called back anyway. And that was a holding call on Gray North, the center. Play action from Action Jackson. Rolling around left side. Pulls up, throws it. He's got Coleman. He had a huge week last week. He's inside the 30. What a juke move to get himself all the way inside the 25-yard line. He had a great debut his first collegiate game, he had six catches, 147 yards, and three touchdowns. And here is Reinhard Wendowski getting his first touchdown reception of the year. And that catch will get him to 98 receiving yards for the season. Nice throw. Great touch pass here from Jackson. My goodness. Jackson with his second touchdown pass on the ensuing kickoff. Turner for the kick. And this is about nine yards deep, and that's muffed. It's going to be returned from inside the five, five yards deep in the end zone. Walker is dropped at the five. Now second down and seven from the eight-yard line. Tompkins, Jukes, he gets the outside pass. Chris Major, Tompkins might take it all the way. Jamar Hicks is there, but he misses the tackle. Goku Lee can't get him, and Tompkins is gone. Oh, my goodness. Fireworks early here today, folks. 7-7, seven seven. here's another kickoff for you, Jack Marks from the 2-yard line, he's going to return this one up the right sideline, following Mason Smith, and right down the right sideline, inside the 30, pushed out of bounds, at about the 23-yard line, huge return for Jack Marks, 3rd down and 4, they go play action, and they fooled them big time right there, and Irwindowski has himself his second touchdown catch of the game. And he's now well over 100 yards receiving for the season. What a throw. Great play action. The defense fooled, got fooled big time. They tackled Collings in the backfield, who is now the starting halfback due to the injury last week to Daly Redding. Uh, Redding will also be out next week against Buffalo. After that, he will be back. They're down at three here for Navy. Bush, left side, wide open is Ross, the tight end. Where is the secondary, folks? Hicks going to track him down easily, but he misses another tackle. And that's a touchdown for Navy. This defense is extremely suspect, folks. We have a 93-yard touchdown run for Tompkins already and a 73-yard touchdown pass to the tight end. Navy with a 73-yard touchdown pass. Let that sink in. Jack Rabbit's back on offense. Here's Collins right side, and he'll pick up eight or nine yards. And South Dakota State at 30 for the game. Navy at 107 here in the first quarter. Jackson opts in, pitches out. Collins has it. He's got the first down up to the 39-yard line. He is a decent back. He's five-star freshman. So I expect big things. What a juke move from Goins, the fullback inside the 25-yard line. What? Oh, my goodness. One of the best plays of his career. Uh, he really shined in the FCS tournaments leading up to this dynasty and that was his biggest play in his two years here for the Jackrabbits. Jackson going out. Irwindowski's there. Irwindowski has three touchdown catches. Oh my goodness. We're still in the first quarter and he has three touchdown catches. 
What is going on right now? I mean, I know the Jackrabbits have a lot of firepower on offense, but oh my goodness. Tompkins, right side. It's past the secondary. Tompkins is in the open field again, and Tompkins is gone. Wow. Doesn't matter if their offense is fantastic. Their defense couldn't... I mean, they can't stop anything, guys. What is that? Mason Smith got blocked instantly. Major couldn't get there. My goodness. Tompkins had about 150 rushing yards already on about two carries. And here is Coleman with a nice catch on the sideline for the first down. We're finally into the second quarter with four touchdowns, or six touchdowns on the board, excuse me. And Jackson is sacked here by Houston, the left end. It'll be third down and 20. Jackson is going to be sacked. No, he breaks loose. Rolling out, throws it deep, and it's deflected away. So a great try there for Lamar Jackson. And another subscriber player injury here for South Dakota State. That is four-star right tackle Jake Seahorn. That's a huge loss. 78 overall, two freshmen. And here is Tompkins getting eight yards. Chris Major on the stop. First time we've seen Tompkins with a carry and not get a touchdown off of it. Seahorn out for four weeks. So the injuries just keep piling up here. And Tompkins is just going to keep running through this defense. 209 yards up the middle. And we're not even two minutes into the second quarter yet. They're down at six. Counterplay. Tompkins has it. Tompkins is in the open field again. Tompkins is going to be gone once again. His third touchdown run of the day. And he could be in for a historic day right now 200 plus yards for him in the first half Chris Major just gets turned around Hicks gets blocked and there's nobody else on this team that has a chance at catching this running back other than Jamar Hicks Jackson rolling out right side he's going to take off here gets the first down Jukes and gets about 12 yard carry as you see the running numbers over 250 for the midshipman here's Collins nice juke move got the first down and more inside Midship in territory. Attack on 15 yards for the face mask. At the 27 yard line. Mason Smith now in for a carry. Left side. Runs over a couple guys. Mason Smith down to the 7 yard line. His best run of the season. 20 plus yarder. Broke a couple tackles. Jackson. One throws it. He throws it up. And that's picked off by Caps. Caps is going to return this out of the end zone. He's got a lot of space. And gets up to the 25 yard line. It looked like Coleman stopped running his route and Jackson threw it where he was and that was a big mistake 28-21 Navy looking to take a two score lead now third down and nine Bush left side almost picked off that would have been a huge play from Jamar Hicks South Dakota State gets the ball here high snap for Watson he's looking to roll left side he's got Erwin Dowski wide open Jukes a man out up to the 43 yard line he's up to 89 yards already today in the first half Jackson to throw again. Rolling out left side. Coleman is wide open. He's such a crisp route runner. He gets it inside the red zone. And it's now third down and 10 from the 19. Jackson rolling out. He's going to take off here. And he's going to go in untouched for the 19-yard touchdown run. His first rushing touchdown of the season. And it comes at a great time as we're about to head into the half. And we are 28-28. There was six touchdowns scored in the first quarter. Look at the yards for the first half. My goodness. Navy on offense first. Bush, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. And that was Red, his eighth career sack. And actually, that is uh, definitely a run play. So that's just a big tackle for a loss. Second down, 13. Tompkins, right side, gets loose to the outside. Mason Smith can't catch him. And South Dakota State, they, they can't stop him. There's just no answer for him. Jamar Hicks has to be on him every single play, and that's just not feasible because Navy has a lot of speed at receiver. Collings, left side from the seven yard line. He's gonna pick up the first down here as I turn into Joe Buck and don't, don't really have a good call on that one. First down and 10, Collings again, right tackle, or off, side, off right tackle. My goodness, I can't even talk anymore. Now I'm sounding like Chris Collinsworth. They're down in 13. Jackson to throw over the middle. TJ Maxey drops the football, and he might have got T-Rex arms right there and just, <laughs> just kind of pulled him back. Didn't want to get destroyed. He got destroyed anyway. Dropped the ball. 
And now Navy has a chance to take a two-score lead yet again. And they're going to hand it off to Tompkins. Left side, Tompkins in the open field, up past the 40-yard line. Every time he touches the ball, I think he's going to score. He's got 381 yards today. What? They'll give it off to Longshore. This is the number two halfback. He gets past Chris Major and Goku Lee with a stop at the 40-yard line. Tompkins is on fire, folks. Look out. Tompkins, he's just going to sprint to the end zone. And that's the record, folks. He's got it. 421 yards today. And guess what? Mason Smith is injured. Another subscriber player gets hurt for the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Their season already in shambles. I know they're 1-0 right now. But Mason Smith out for 10 weeks with a dislocated elbow. That is a massive loss as he is the starting left outside linebacker and the closer at halfback. Second down and four, Watson in at quarterback on this play. He's going to roll out right side, takes off. He's got the first down and more inside Navy territory. Great run from him, his first career 20-plus yard run. Fourth down and seven. Watson converted a bunch of fourth downs last week, and he's going to have himself another one as he gets out of bounds at around the 25-yard line. Lamar Jackson now back in there. Stays in the pocket. He finds Coleman wide open. He's going to pick up seven yards on the right sideline. Second down and two. Jackson going out left side. I actually hit the wrong button here, but here is Collins with toe drag swag on the sideline. Getting his first career reception. And it's a first down. Watson to the end zone. Irwin Dowski wide open on the slant route. Look at the arm strength here, too. He got that ball there so quickly. And a crisp route by Irwindowski. South Dakota State has two of the best route runners in the country in Irwindowski and Dick Coleman. Here's Tompkins up the middle again, folks. And he is going to be really close to 500 yards rushing. This is sad. And we're just about in the fourth quarter. <laughs> just about. They can't do anything to stop this guy. Doesn't matter who's in there. There's a clipping right there on Goku Lee. That was not called, obviously. Still in the third quarter. One more play left. Watson. Deep shot. He's got the arm for it. Left side. Irwindowski's got it. And he's loose for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know how many touchdowns he has right now. I lost count. I think that's number four. But he just gets past the safety. Look at the arm strength from Tremaine Watson. Oh, my goodness. 49-42, but Navy was the best rushing attack I've ever seen in my life. Bush going to throw it this time. Walker's got it, and Walker is gone. They've got two touchdown passes here today, too. So the secondary can't cover. Uh, nobody can stop the halfback here in the front seven. Frank Theory's been a no-show today, and Lamar Jackson is injured again. Injured his chest on the play. Tremaine Watson might be the starting quarterback going forward here for South Dakota State. Because uh, Jackson has been injured twice already here in two weeks. Watson's been playing great. Here's another deep shot down the right side. Deflected up. It's picked off this time by Payne inside Navy's own 20-yard line. They're up 56-42. And you got to assume they're going to keep pounding the rock. They did. They went three and out. Tremaine Watson's in there at quarterback again. Waiting for somebody to get open. And that's deflected and picked off by Thompson. That was very unfortunate. As South Dakota State now has four turnovers for the game. And they're going to run the football again here. But Bush is going to fumble the football. Here's Frank Theory making the showing. Breaks a tackle. Reminiscent of Tank Taylor from a few games ago. Returns it up to the 40-yard line. The big defensive tackles. With some fumble returns today. Oh, my goodness. This is fantastic. So South Dakota State still has a shot here. Collins, nice carry, right side, first down. Gets out of bounds to avoid any kind of turnover. Jackson pressured. He is sacked immediately. The right end completely destroyed the left tackle, Chad Filler. And that was pathetic. Here we go again. Watson pressured. He's sacked back at the 33-yard line. Just immediate pressure. And that's a linebacker that just blew through the right guard. Fourth and 21 for Tremaine Watson. He's sacked again. What is going on with the Jackrabbits, folks? This is not their season. Oh, my goodness. 
It, it can only get worse, right? Here's Tompkins again, right side. Tompkins in the open field, past midfield, all the way to the 40-yard line, and maybe up over 540 rushing yards for the game. Here's Bush as he gets him over 550. He breaks a tackle, still going to the 15-yard line. 473 yards rushing right up the gut. Frank Theory, you have not done your job today. Tompkins, 543 yards today so far. Erwodowski, player of the game, five touchdowns. And they're going to get Tompkins the ball again here. Jamar Hicks falls on his face. Chris Major finally stops him at the three-yard line, his fourth tackle of the game. He's barely had an opportunity to get his hands on any of these Navy midshipmen players. First and go from the three. Tompkins, seven touchdown runs today. The score is 63 to 42, South Dakota State. Oh my goodness. 63-42. 546 rushing yards, I believe, for Tompkins. I'm really at a loss for words, guys, but I just want to let you guys know in the Discord community, in the FCS Pick'em, you guys were completely wrong. There was 24 votes for South Dakota State to win this and only five for Navy. They definitely shut everybody up. Uh, Jet Christie, Colin Northrup, Matthew Lee, Quasi Sands, and Zach Pryor all picked Navy to win this one. And boy, did they ever. They had three completions for well over 100 yards, two touchdowns. South Dakota State, four turnovers. They lost Mason Smith for the next nine games or the next nine weeks at least. Erwin Dowski had a phenomenal game today. He had three touchdown receptions there in the first half. But Tompkins, so fast. I, I don't like South Dakota State's chances in any game where the other team has a fast running back because we saw what a fast running back can do to this defense here today. 558 yards rushing for Lawrence Tompkins. The senior halfback, seven touchdowns, a long of 92, 340 yards after contact, seven 20-plus yard runs, seven broken tackles, zero fumbles. Uh, let's just take a moment, you know, give a moment of silence for the defense for South Dakota State. Trash. Jermaine Watson, two touchdowns, two picks today. Like I said, I don't know. He might be the starter going forward. Lamar Jackson, uh couple picks today as well but I don't know if, it, if switching the quarterback would really do anything let me know in the chat and in the comments below or the discord what you guys think about this I don't know if changing the quarterbacks really gonna help them that much uh, Watson did throw for 472 in his first career game with five touchdowns two picks I'm not sure if Jackson's ever thrown for that many yards in a game but I don't think anybody at quarterback is going to help, honestly, because the real problem is the defense. It is bad, folks. It's real bad. You just saw what happened. And I don't know what to do to stop it. Maybe switch uh, Jamar Hicks to the free safety spot, put him next to Chris Major, and then just do, <laughs> I don't know, have just zone coverage all game where Chris Major and Jamar Hicks are covering, you know, the deep halves. Uh, that might be the only route we could possibly go with this defense right now. They don't have Mason Smith anymore. It's just bad. They lost Jake Seahorn today for the next three games. Dan DeBeers and Gray North, Chad Filler, the other offensive linemen, allowed a bunch of sacks today. But I'm really upset about Mason Smith right now because he is a phenomenal two-way player. Definitely the best in this series. And that's just a major loss. They don't have any linebackers now. They have three defensive backs and a tackle. <laughs> One of the defensive backs being a 62 overall three-star freshman Goku Lee. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do with this defense. But it, it just definitely was just not good today at all. It wasn't good last week with that huge comeback for Army. But they still came out with a win. But next week, they'll be taking on the Buffalo Bulls. That'll be a tough matchup. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure the Discord pick will be a little bit different for week number three. Our next game, Northern Colorado hosts the Rhode Island Rams. I'll see you guys for that one. 
uh, in about, uh, about 35 minutes or so. So until then, take it easy, guys.